Hello, welcome to a short tutorial. I am going to show you how you can connect the new TTN or TTI version 3 to Datacake. Um, a lot of you have requested that and asked me the question, where is that Datacake TTN that allowed me to enter all details on Datacake? This is right now um, taken out of the platform because of the movement from TTN version 2 to TTN version 3 or TDI, but we will bring that back in. So with this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new and community edition of the thing stack um, and connect that to Datacake. So the requirements for that are that you have a gateway already working on that and that you have um, your devices in an application. If you done these steps to bring your devices in here and you signed up for Datacake, um, you go ahead and click on add device and then you will see the list of available presets here, all the same, just like before. So then you go ahead, select one of these devices here, press on next. And the next thing that you um, need to do is to select the network. The newer version, so the TTN version three or the things industry, the things stack is right at the first place here. We support uplinks, downlinks. The old one is still there, but please use the new one. You press on next and then you simply provide like a dev UI. I'm going to enter um, a fake, UI here and um, device number one, just a fake name for a device. Um, you select that. This will now create that device, which is this one here. And in the configuration of that device, when you scroll down a little bit, you can see the payload decoder and also the um, Loraven options here available. So you see network server is thing stack and the downlinks have not yet been configured. Um, so the next step is you go back to the console and here you have your applications. And on the sidebar, you can find the integrations. Um, when you click on that, it opens it up. Um, there's webhooks, please select that. And then you add a new webhook. The cool thing about um, TDN is that um, they have like this data cake button here. You click on that. And now you need to provide two different um, things. The first one is pretty easy. You can call that data cake integration or whatever, um, something like that. Oh, okay. Let's do it, keep it short. Um, now you need to provide a token. The token is being used to authenticate the webhooks coming from TTI to Datacake. This is an added security feature. Um, so back into Datacake and here under members, you can see the API users. So now we are going to create an API user for TTI. We call that TTI token. The only rights that this or permissions that this tokens need is devices and add permission for all devices, can record measurements, press on save. We now copy this token here, um, go back into the webhook and paste it here and press on create. That's it. You now set up the integration and the device on TTI, TTN version three, will automatically forward data into Datacake um, and in this device here, um, you can see the linkage here and in the configuration, um, we can also now configure the downlinks. So if you don't want to send downlinks, you're all set. But if you want to send downlinks, we need to provide additional details here. So let's go back to the um, integration on the TTM. And we now need to get to the application and first of all, we call and need to copy and provide the ID. This is um, thing stack specific and we need to copy this field here. Simply copy that, go back into data cake and paste this into the app ID. We only also need to provide um, a key. So back into things network, into API keys, create a new key, Call that data cake key. You can leave the current rights or you can select um, some which in this is case is write down link, write up link, um, but we leave it to grant all current rights and we copy that key and then back to data cake, paste it here. Um, and the server is, let's go to um, the server address we need to copy this one here as well. Um, go back into here, copy this, and the dev 
ID is, in this case, the ID of your device here. Once more, it's this one the below the description here, that ID. Um, you can also copy this directly and back to Datacake, paste this here, press an update, and now you can see that the downlinks are configured. So that means that this device can now send queue downlinks to your things stack version three public community edition. We will bring back features that allow you to completely add devices on data cake without the need of accessing the um, things stack community edition. But if you want to use that right now, you can do it in that case. Um, there's also documentation available on our documentation webpage. So you can access that. And if you get stuck, somewhere in between, simply call this, write us a message, and um, we get back to help you. Yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned.